Good afternoon, friends of YouTube. This is Clayton Phillips, General Sales Manager at Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. Yes, I know it's been a long time since I've shot a video and uh, we are going to get back into it, ramping up to show off all the new updates for the 2023 products that are coming to our dealership. And I gotta tell you, friends, there is a ton this trailer specifically is the 2023 Grand Design RV Imagine XLS 23LDE. This is a couple's unit, rear kitchen. It's been a tremendous performer for us since its inception and I'm super excited to jump into this. One of the best things, friends, this got delivered today after making an almost 2,000 mile journey from Middlebury, Indiana. And you are looking at this trailer as though it just made that journey. We have done nothing to it. We have not cleaned it. We have not PDI'd it. We have not fixed anything on it. Best part, we don't really have to fix anything on it because it's a grand design and they do all the right things at the manufacturing level to uh, get the trailer ready for a big journey like this, which is not unique in the, or sorry, it is unique in the RV industry. Most manufacturers are not doing what Grand Design does to uh, get their trailers ready, like their 288 point PDI inspection before it leaves their facility. So again, you know me, we're not gonna skip a beat. We are gonna talk and talk about this trailer, get into lots of details and talk about all of the new gear that uh, Grand Design has added to the Imagine XLS lineup. So we're gonna jump into it up front here, friends. Uh, true to form for Grand Design on the Imagine, friends, is you've got a nice radius front end on the XLS. They use a heavy gauge alloy, which is an 040 thickness, which is much thicker than most alloys you find in the industry, making it more abrasion resistant, stronger to you know rocks and bugs and those sorts of things. They also use a satin paint finish up on the front radius here as well. It's a real paint. Uh, what's nice about that is it washes off a whole lot easier too. Uh, the dirt doesn't stick to it nearly as much as some of the other smoother alloy finishes you find here in the industry. So uh, right on the weight badge on this particular trailer, um, we are have a GVWR rating of 5,000, sorry, 6,995 pounds. The unloaded vehicle weight as it came off the assembly line for this exact trailer is 5,592 pounds, giving you a very respectable cargo carrying capacity of 1,363 pounds as equipped for this particular trailer. So very, very good cargo carrying capacities for this size of trailer. Again, this is a couples unit at 28 feet, five inches. Now, Grand Design measures, friends, from the front coupler where it attaches to the to the um, to the vehicle to the rear wall so if there's a spare tire a ladder on the rear of the trailer that will go out beyond the uh, 28 feet 5 inches so just so you know that's how grand design measures all of their all of their trailers you've got the 43 cubic feet of unbelievable pass through fifth wheel like pass through storage friends you'll notice with grand design all aluminum tubing fully bead welded together to exact uh, you know great precision double sided bead welded we're seeing some products in the industry i was just down in elkhart uh, for the open house and we got to tour some of the plants and saw some of the aluminum tubing and some of the manufacturers are just spot welding or doing one-sided bead weld grand design does double sided bead weld for for better uh, better structure support again more aluminum tubing thicker gauge you find typically on a grand design versus most other manufacturers out there uh, the other thing friends dual motion sensor lighting on both sides so doesn't matter what side of the trailer you on you're gonna have a well lit pass-through storage compartment at night to access all your contents and again they radius the front wall here as well for added storage capacity it is prepped for the tire link tire pressure monitoring system also right up here is your 25 amp MPPT charge controller, which is attached to the 165 watt solar panel mounted to your roof. And you can add, I believe, up to two more solar panels uh, then that, that charge controller should handle that uh, if they're 165 watts. Again, also the bat battery monitor here as well, built right in. That was a new addition. They didn't start that when they first migrated into the solar uh, package, but now they have that. 
again, enclosed utility panel, um, you know, what water compartment here to be able to hook up your city water connection. You can fill up your fresh water tank through your city water connection just by flipping this blue lever to tank fill. So if you're at a campground, you're hooked up to city water, you're about to go boondocking, just flip that lever and it'll fill up your 43 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, again, outside shower, hot and cold tap, uh, really, really nice convenient location. You can keep this compartment locked and closed and easy to go. Your fresh water line, you can run up through this porthole access right here, making it nice and easy to protect your water and whatnot. Again, 110 plug outside for any of those 110 devices that you want to plug in. So Grand Design known for their pass-through storage compartments, doing a fantastic job with that. The other thing you look up underneath here, friends, you have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. Now Grand Design heats their underbellies on the Imagine with the furnace, which is a 25,000 BTU furnace on the XLS uh, and a dedicated heat duct running down into that holding tank cavity. You'll also notice you don't see any exposed gate valves for your uh, gray water or black water termination points. All those gate valves are up inside that heated area. The other thing that Grand Design did was they worked with the Coroplast manufacturer and that's that black enclosure sealing in the underbelly. And and your insulation is actually bonded to that panel. So if you ever have to do any service work, it makes it really easy for a technician. You just pull out the screws, drop the underbelly. They're not having to deal with a whole pile of insulation falling down and those sorts of things. It makes getting into that underbelly a whole lot easier and bolting it back together a whole lot easier as well. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, there's a blue light right here. The switch for that is in that, that utility uh, compartment there. But a nice blue light if you got to dump your tanks at night uh, right above this termination point, which makes it really, really nice. So. Grand Design doing the right things there. They also spray foam in around all of the openings where you got plumbing going in and that sort of thing. So right through your floor, friends, you've got an R30 insulation. Your walls on the Imagine, uh, true to form, have always been that R7 insulation, inch and a half thick, uh, laminated uh, sidewall, and then your roof is an R40. And that's one of those golden thread of consistency things that you get with Grand Design that you see interwoven between all of their brands is those R values, the way they manufacture their product. Grand Design, first manufacturer in the industry since their inception to offer that three-year structural warranty. Uh, they built their product su to support their warranty, okay? A lot of manufacturers now that do have that three-year structural warranty that have come out, they didn't necessarily change how they built their product. They just raised their prices to accommodate the influx of warranty claims. Grand Design they did the opposite. They manufactured their product, designed it, built it, to support that warranty because they don't want to have to pay warranty claims. Um, they just built a better product so your, your, your trailer's out on the road a whole lot longer. How they achieve that? Rear laminated wall, it's not a hung wall, so super solid. Your slide end walls, friends, fully laminated. Your top of your slide out, the panel at the top of your slide right here, whoop. Yeah, right there is fully laminated just like the, the, the side walls are. You can climb up on your roof sweep off the top of your slide and actually stand on the, the Grand Design slide boxes. They're that strong uh, and fully laminated. So very, very good R values, very strong, properly put together. The other really nice thing about having all laminated walls for your vertical walls is that it makes a trailer built square because all of these panels are built in a lamination facility to exact specifications. So when they actually put the walls together, everything fits perfectly, okay? The other thing that Grand Design does is where you have an aluminum tube in the sidewall where there's exterior fasteners. So behind this little cap here, you're gonna see screws, steel screws. Those steel screws go into the wall tying both the sidewall and the rear wall together. But rather than going into a hollow aluminum tube, which what, what most manufacturers do, watch one of my videos from a couple years ago, you'll see just what I mean. Um, Grand Design stuffs that aluminum tube with a wood dowel. Very, very important because a steel screw in a hollow aluminum tube in a RV that's flexing and stressing going down the high, highway, that steel screw will wear that aluminum hole bigger and yet then your corner moldings start to pull away, your seal is compromised, you have moisture intrusion, then all of a sudden delamination and all the challenges that go along with that. So Grand Design putting that infrastructure into their side walls so that it's just not gonna come apart over time. The other thing that Grand Design does, friends, is all of your window openings, if you were to take any window out, it's actually framed in with aluminum. A lot of products today still, friends, 
you'll see block foam there. There's no structure for that clampering window to bite down onto. So again, that window will move around more. Your seals can become more compromised and that's where moisture intrusion happens and delamination friends and rotting has plagued our industry for years and years and years. So again, Grand Design is doing the right things to have your trailer last. Um, the other thing is that you're only as ever good as your seal on the outside of a trailer. Doesn't matter how your sidewall is constructed. So again, having a proper seal, they're using that Mylar tape seal, which doesn't dry out. You don't actually see it. When they wrap it around from sidewall to rear wall, they actually wrap it around. It seals in the corner. Corner molding goes on that you see here, screws go in, then Grand Design puts a silicone cap seal over. The beautiful thing about Grand Design trailers, friends, is you only have to watch for your silicone cap seal. If you, if you see it, you're out camping, you're doing your thing and you notice that that silicone cap seal has kind of given way um, or it maybe looks a bit compromised, go to the hardware store, buy a simple tube, tube of translucent exterior silicone, grab a silicone gun and reapply it. Anybody can do it. It's very, very easy. For the products that are using a butyl putty still on your quarter moldings and around your windows and around the outside of a trailer, you physically, to replace that, you have to pull that corner molding right off. It's a very, very uh, intense job. I've done it. It's difficult to do. And if you're not good uh, in those sorts of things or mechanically inclined on, on completing them, you're going to struggle. The beautiful thing with Grand Design, friends, that silicone capsule, I know I'm spending a ton of time on it. It's very important makes it so much easier to maintain your trailer. So uh, really, really good thing. The other thing you'll find, again, talking about structure, this is a PVC foam tape that's in behind this foot on the ladder, okay? They don't actually put the Mylar in behind there or a silicone capsule. You can see the PVC foam tape squeezing out. The PVC foam tape seals in, so that screw goes in. They laminate a sheet of steel on the wall for this. It's not aluminum tube there. It's a sheet of steel in the wall. So that steel screw goes into a, a sheet of steel for you know proper, proper strength. Um, but that PVC foam behind there has little micro bubbles in it. So when the screw goes in, those little micro bubbles pop so it, the, the screw doesn't grab the foam and, and, and twist it up. So it goes in proper, you know, sealing up your trailer. So beautiful thing, if you're a 300 pound man wanting to crawl up the ladder, your ladder is gonna handle it, no, no problem. Um, the other thing, vents for all your hood fans, friends, they're not recirculating that air back inside the trailer. I know it may be a small thing, but to get that heat and moisture out of your trailer, mainly the moisture, the steam when you're cooking is very, very important. Moisture is the number one killer of RVs, so. We got a little spray port here for cold water on the entry side of your trailer so you can set up a really nice outdoor cook area on this 23 LDE. You have a beautiful power 20 foot awning which covers both entrance doors. And I'm telling you friends, when that sucker goes out, uh, you've got an absolutely beautiful outdoor patio space that again, you can set up, pull out the big picnic tables, lay out the big patio mat, set up the portable fire pit, if you will, if you need it, if there's a fire ban or whatever. I'm an RVer too, so all these things are a real thing that you gotta deal with sometimes. You do have the full length LED light strip, which is well utilized even when the awnings are attracted. And again, Grand Design friends, they're being smart. They're all about structure and support. They add that center support to help prevent that roller tube from, from bending and, and bouncing as it's going down the road. You won't typically find that on most other products out there, okay? The other thing, um, again, I know it's a small thing, but sometimes it turns into a big thing. Grand Design, their outside speakers on the trailer, you notice they're mounted on the outside wall versus a great big hole saw cutting into your wall and countersinking it in. Couple reasons. One, rather than having a great big hole, they have a little hole for a wire. Um, and when that speaker's running, it's gonna be quieter on the inside of your trailer as well, uh, which is really, really nice. Easy to change out if, if you will, but proper mylar tape in behind, silicone cap seal. Again, they're doing it all the, all the right things. Now the running gear. Grand Design uses the Dexter towing system on all of their products. Uh, comes with a five-year warranty for your axles. They've gone to the Goodyear Endurance Tire. You still get the beautiful warranty that they had before uh, with the Westlake Tire, which is a five-year um, five warranty, 12-month, no questions asked replacement. But a lot of people really like that Goodyear brand. Uh, it's a really, really nice tire, 14-inch tire on the uh, XLS, but they also have the Dexter Never Adjust Brakes and Easy Lube Hubs, so you can do a physical wheel bearing repack without actually removing the tire 
and it's very, very easy to do. You don't have to pay a dealer to do it, although we love to do it for you. Uh, helps our service department, but again, for those mechanically inclined people, you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway. Very, very easy. Dexter has some really nice videos on their website explaining how to do that. So again, Grand Design, gigantic windows in their trailers on both sides on this particular model. How can they put in a big window? Well, the structure is in the sidewall to support a big window. Uh, and that's very, very important with that aluminum fra framing. Again, Grand Design going the extra step. You notice both entry doors have the triple step they're not cheaping out on the door that you're probably not going to be using as much and a lend a hand grab handle that's where some manufacturers will be holding back um, in terms of trying to save cost grand design giving you that bolt-on added value um, that some manufacturers just simply don't do so they build the value in but they also bolt it on which is really really nice um, again we've seen some manufacturers I just laugh still to this day where literally they will use up the lock the 751 keyed lock as the only way to pin this door down, to latch it closed. So you're either having a key always hanging in the door or you're always fumbling for keys. Grand design, finger twist, finger twist, and a lock. So you've got a far better secured door than what you would typically get and it's a magnet that holds it up. So, you know, they're not afraid to, to build, that, build that value in. Again, a nice beautiful shot of that pass-through storage compartment. So, Again, 28 feet, 5 inches in length. Your hitch weight, 524 pounds. 20 foot power awning, as I mentioned. Fresh tank, 43 gallons. Gray tank, 82 gallons. And your wastewater is 37 gallons. So very, very, very good holding tank capacities. Again, Grand Design known. Dual gray tanks, that 82 gallons of gray is one for your bathroom, one for your kitchen, which is a really nice thing. I've been camping with the 30 gallon gray before out at the Big Valley Country Music Festival in the field. And literally after two days, your gray tank's filled and you're doing your dishes where? Because the sink doesn't drain. Uh, Grand Design's really thinking and giving you that added capacity. So we're gonna jump up on the roof here to talk a little bit about the roof and then head inside. Just one moment. Holy friends, I gotta say, I haven't shot a video in a long time and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I love talking RVs. I love talking great quality RVs. I've been in this industry well over 20 years. It's been a, a passion of my life. I started working for Woody's when I was 13 years old in the reconditioning department. I've been around, I've seen a lot. And I'm, I'm just, I always get so excited talking about Grand Design RVs uh, because it's just something I've just totally believe in. Um, anyway, enough of that. We're up on the roof here. Grand Design uses a 16 inch on center wood truss. The truss itself isn't, it's like your house, just not as steep of a pitch, um, but you do get a really nice radius to the roof. So when the snow's up here, you get two feet of snow melting up here. It's gonna support that weight, but allow for that moisture to run off. Um, the other thing is it makes for a really good thermal barrier when you've got a wood decking, wood truss, that R40 insulation all the way through your roof, giving you a really good thermal barrier. The other thing that Grand Design does, friends, that most other manufacturers don't, they put in attic vents on their RVs. That's an attic vent right there, okay? Why is an attic vent important? Okay, well, what's the number one killer of RVs? Moisture. Where does moisture come from in an RV? It comes from showering, it comes from cooking, um, it comes from just being inside the trailer, those sorts of things. When it's colder outside or what have you, having a roof with an attic vent helps that moisture escape. I caution you to be aware of the trailers that have laminated roofs, the sealed roofs. They do not breathe very well. If it, the trailer is sealed up, you will find that you can get moisture droplets building up on the inside of your trailer because there's nowhere for that moisture to go. With the Grand Design trailers, with the attic vents, your, your houses all have attic vents in them around the soffits and those sorts of things to allow that moisture to escape that's inside your house. Same with the Grand Design roof. The only other manufacturer from years past that put in attic vents were the Citations and um, Coarse Air product by General Coach, which is a Canadian built product. Having that moisture, that attic vent, very, very important for colder weather type camping. Uh, your furnace, when your furnace is running, propane heat has moisture in it. Um, so again, to have that attic vent, a very, I know I'm spending some time on it, but it's very, very important. Again, full walk on roof, full walk on, I keep walking over to the slide box here. I'm literally on top of the slide here. Again, so fully laminated, 
block foam insulation, aluminum framing built just like the sidewall. Very, very structurally sound, okay? Uh, WineGuard Air 360 TV, D digital TV antenna. But one thing to note, friends, Grand Design, they put a skylight always above their shower. They're not using the roof vent in your bathroom as the skylight, which we've seen with a lot of other products, okay? They're giving you both the skylight and the roof vent uh, in your bathroom, but you've got a roof vent for your bedroom, your bathroom, and at the very back in your kitchen. Very, very common for a Grand Design to have a ton of roof vents. The other thing I wanna point out is the, the thickness of the seal that they use. That lap seal, self-leveling sealant gets laid down. It's an alpha product, just like uh, the product with the uh, TPO roof membrane is by, it's an alpha super flex. It's very durable. You're gonna see some ripples in the roof. Very, very common. They don't always lay perfectly flat. That's okay. It's laid down to the exact specifications for the manufacturer and they're okay with that. But again, Grand Design, go on the extra step. I've seen some manufacturers in their sealant jobs where literally you've got a screw here, screw here, screw here, and they just put a dollop of sealant over top of the screws and then down either side of the transition molding. Uh, Grand Design, they're covering the whole darn thing. So again, a far, far better seal. Why is that nice having a thick seal? Well, you're not gonna have to replace it nearly as fast and you'll see it around everything. So um, I think that covers the roof. We're gonna jump down and head inside and uh, do a tour of the new 23 LDE with the Hearthstone interior, just a moment. Oh yeah, one thing to point out and I didn't do it. Barbecue quick connect right there. Little blue cap, ready to go. Hook up your portable fire pit. Um, your barbecue, whatever you want. Fire bands are more common nowadays, so to have that port portable fire pit's kind of nice. So we're gonna jump up inside here. One thing to note, shoe cubby right at your front door to slide your sandals and shoes out of the way. That way you don't have that great big mountain right at your front door. Um, the thing, it's interesting. We are often doing competitive comparisons between other products in the industry and what Grand Design is because we just feel Grand Design builds the value in, they, they bolt it on, they do all of the right things. But sometimes we have to have deeper conversations with customers about why Grand Design is maybe a little bit more money. And just recently, actually, this particular trailer has been purchased by somebody that was actually doing, we did a competitive comparison with. And I'm not gonna name the products. I'm gonna challenge you, uh, who's maybe doing some RV shopping, looking around, you know, doing your resource checking, those sorts of things. Count the amount of drawers between, let's say, a Grand Design and what you might be comparing to. And the particular trailer that we were up against, again, I'm not going to name names, we go first to the drawers. And when I counted in this particular trailer, the 23 LDE, in the bedroom alone, there's five drawers. Most products that this particular trailer would go up against, often there's zero drawers in the bedroom. There's five in here, two on either side of the bed. And then they've got a beautiful sliding tray underneath the bed. Okay, giving you that added storage, better utilization of space. Grand Design has done a phenomenal job with the storage in their bedroom. And we'll come back to it, but I want to focus in on the drawers here for a second. I know it may seem a little bit weird, and I'm probably going to get beat up on comments for it. But it's a very real thing. The other thing I'm going to show you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus the five in the bedroom. 15 drawers. Guess how many drawers the trailer was that we counted that we were doing the competitive comparison with? Three, and they were all in the kitchen. So again, drawers are an expensive thing, but drawers are a very utilized thing that's in a trailer that is often overlooked by RV manufacturers, and Grand Design is focused in on giving you maximum value in the RV you're purchasing and the experience that you're gonna have when using their RVs. Often we find people that buy a Grand Design RV, if they want to trade into something different, are usually sticking with the brand. Very, very common thing. So again, one thing to focus in on, I challenge you, count the drawers, big thing. So um, Grand Design in their Imagine, um, this is the new Hearthstone interior. There's just a slight change. So they've gone to uh, a darker hardware. They've gone to a darker trim piece here, uh, darker uh, faucets those sorts of things. I think they've gone to a little bit darker linoleum. The fabric is uh, slightly darker. Uh, the wallboard's got a little more penciling in it, I believe. 
So they just richened up the inside a little bit better. The, the, the cabinetry color is virtually the same, um, but they're still using that, that, that uh, cabinet door. It's a premium wood core cabinet door, and it's the European poplar. So it's actually a solid wood with a veneer wrap around it for consistency. But this is a very lightweight door. It's a true door. It's very flat, very lightweight, but it's solid wood. The other thing Grand Design does is they screw, there's pocket screws in behind this piece here, joining this together, pocket screw all of their cabinetry together. They can pocket screw it because it's a lumber core, a solid wood as well with a veneer wrap. If you're feeling in behind the cabinetry on other trailers and you don't feel pocket screws, that's a very good indicator that your cabinetry is made out of MDF. And MDF is basically sawdust with glue um, holding it together. And in an RV, whether you've got flexing and stressing going down the highway, those sorts of things, and corner moldings coming apart because you don't have wood doweling in the aluminum tubing, that's where you start to get gaps here and those sorts of things. So Grand Design, they're not just building the infrastructure into the sidewalls, they're doing it in their cabinetry as well. And then your inner cabinetry, wherever there's screws that you see going into the outside wall, they laminate a sheet of steel in that part of the wall for that steel screw to go into. So very, very strong European hinges that are fully adjustable. Again, they're giving you a ton of value uh, in, the, in, the, in the RV that you're investing in. So beautiful kitchen, easy access, huge window, tons of storage. Again, nice little counter space there. Okay, um, the fridge itself is a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt only refrigerator. It's powered off your batteries. Uh, they are very efficient. They cool very, very quickly. It's the way the industry's gone for most of the RVs nowadays. Um, and we're quite enjoying the uh, 12 volt refrigerators. We'd love to tell you more about it at our dealership if you want to come down for it. But bottom line, friends, doesn't matter what fridge you got, they all run on fuel and you got to replace the fuel. And that's part of the reason why that solar panel's up on the roof and they give you the ability to add more solar if you so choose. Optional, tri-fold sofa, which this one has. Standard is the theater seating, which would have heat, massage, and fully reclined capability right across from your entertainment system here as well so telescoping dining table that'll drop right down you just flip those levers the tabletop drops then you fill in the tabletop with your back cushions so all right new addition for the imagine xls is the furion on demand continuous hot water system that's what that control module operates right there friends it's gas only, it does not have an electric function to it for heating. Um, it, does, it will do 144 gallons per hour. Yes, I said 144 gallons per hour. Okay, it's continuous on demand. That control module, you set the temperature to whatever temperature you want. So hypothetically, let's say you like your dishwashing water to be heated to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, you set it to that. You flip that lever full blast on hot and like within 20 seconds, you've got 93 degree temperature water coming out your tap, which is beautiful. Going, okay, Clayton, why is that important? Well, when you have water recovery that fast, you're gonna use less water. And secondly, you're gonna fill up, you're not gonna be filling up your gray tank as fast which is nice. If you're having to blend the water through your tap, hot and cold yourself with a regular hot water heater, you're gonna burn through more water and you're gonna fill up your gray water tank faster. So uh, it's a really, really nice system. They've been running it in the Imagine for, or sorry, the Reflection fifth wheel for a while. The nice thing with the system, the early on-demand systems with Furion did not have the cold weather protection they all now have the cold weather protection. So it's a new board that's with the system that once it gets down to a certain temperature, it circulates the water to prevent from freezing and those sorts of things. So you've got that security built right in. So uh, one thing I didn't point out right here at your entry door, you've got the uh, Compass Connect system. This operates the, you know, your tank monitors. It's got Bluetooth capabilities so you can download an app connect your phone to it, operate your slide out, your awning, your lights, those sorts of things. Slide switches here, awning switches here. Good to go right at your front door. The other thing Grand Design always puts at the front door is their breaker panel where you've got your fuses and 110 
uh, breakers so that if something happens, you can access it very easily if your slide out is in. You're not having to pull things apart to get at it. It's super, super convenient uh, to be able to locate it right by your front door. So uh, again, Grand Design DNA item, friends, this is a laminated floor in the XLS product. No heat ducts in their floor since day one. Uh, you may find some heat ducts in the floor in the Grand Design trailer in their upper decks in the fifth wheels. Again, they're not dirt collectors, they're not dust traps. It's a far better heat distribution system versus a, a heat plenum cut in the middle of your floor. You don't have to worry about soft spots building up. Off your furnace, if you've got that heat track cut in your floor, they typically service that heat duct or that track with one duct at an end. By the time the air gets to the end, you got no air coming out. So with Grand Design, this port here is directly routed to your furnace and you've got far better heat distribution through their, through their trailers, which is really, really nice. So uh, coming into the bathroom, it's a gigantic bathroom. This trailer's eight feet wide and it goes the full width of the trailer. You've got a beautiful towel rack here. People love this. You can roll up your towels, stack them in. Uh, you've got a nicer uh, shower surround, ABS shower surround. Uh, again, the Nautilus shower curtain. This shower curtain, friends, has a squeegee built into it. It will actually squeegee the moisture off, running it back down into the shower pan and into the drain. So, and it's mold and mildew resistant, those sorts of things. Great big skylight for those tall people. If your head needs to go up inside, uh, you get a little more headroom that way. And again, no heat ducts on the floor, like I said, so you don't have to worry about if your toilet was to backflow on you or if your uh, vacuum or one of your seals breaks on your toilet, you don't have to worry about that moisture going down into your heat ducts because they're not on the floor. But excellent storage, lots of counter space, great big nice vanity here for all the necessary items and whatnot. Um, 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. If you don't like the mattress, I'm going to be honest, they're not very good. You can go to any, you know, Costco or bedding store, get a mattress topper. It'll fit perfectly because this is 60 wide by 80 inches long. Or if you just want to change out the mattress completely, you can go to any mattress store and it'll fit the same dimensions, which is really, really nice. So, uh, one of the things to be aware of grand design friends, again, like I said, two drawers on either side of your bed, kind of a rare thing. Um, a lot of products, they don't do drawers, like I said, but the hanging storage is really, really nice. Okay, they put it above, they shrink the storage above the bed to just above the bed. They're not running it out to the sidewall, which brings your closet down. They give you maximum storage utilization here. And the nice thing is the box at the base of the bed is forward. It's not pulled into the bed. We've seen a lot of trailers where literally the box for the storage compartment is here and to access the storage on top of your bed, you gotta stand on your bed to get at it. Where these doors are all supported by those European hinges, you can reach up, grab your items out very, very easily for those shorter people out there. Um, it's just nicer to be able to access the storage. And then you've got your uh, reading lights. You've got a blue light right there, reading light. And then of course, my favorite, the little storage cubbies on either side of the bed with a USB connection 110 plug. Thank you, Eric Landis, my man, the GM of the Imagine Division at Grand Design for hearing my comments and putting this in place. Love you, brother. You do a great job, you and your team at the Imagine Division with Grand Design. I think I've covered it. It's another long video. It's the first one in a long time. I hope I did your time justice. We would love to invite you down to our dealership here in Leduc and give you a, a tour of this all new 23 LDE, the 2023 with all the new updates. And again, friends, we have a lot of trailers on the ground right now that are a tremendous opportunity. We've got some fantastic rebates available. Um, we'd love to host you at our store. 4.9 star Google rating at Woody's RV in Leduc. Um, and that's like 370 plus reviews. And uh, we would love to take you through our process. We are RVers, we do this, we love this lifestyle and we love our customers and all the people that have chosen to do business with us. So I know I've missed a bunch, but I've talked enough. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, hope to see you soon. We'll give this you one more shot here. You guys take care, happy camping, be safe and have fun. Bye for now.